Greetings from the road. It's Sunday around one o'clock. I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri. I have both these cars out. I'm a day ahead of schedule because it's going to rain tomorrow. This is the first day that we've been out of extreme cold. This is a 1913 Model T runabout. It was owned by the same family from point of purchase in New York, where it went to California and then up to Oregon, where it was sold to another family in 2008. It's 80 some percent original. And uh, behind that, we have a 1910 Chalmers Detroit 30 Model K Roadster. This is also a Detroit manufacturer. And what's interesting is I came and showed the 1904 Ford Model B to the same group of guys last June. It was on its way to the uh, early Ford V8 Foundation Museum where it sits today. And Alexander Malcolmson, who was 22 and a half percent shareholder equal to Ford and brought all the money to Ford Motor Company when uh, he went into partnership with Henry Ford. He wanted to build a luxury touring car. Ford pretty much penalized him for it by forcing him out of the company and he lost millions. He was ousted by 1905. So here we have six years later, his vision realized in a touring car platform built by Chalmers. This car sold for $1,500 back in 1910. It was the second year for this model and that was equivalent to $45,000 back in the day. Keep in mind, this is $500 cheaper than the 1904 Ford Model B, which sold for $2,000, which was worth $60,000 back then. We have some information here about the company. They had already sold 800 cars of this model as of that advertisement. This car is like light years ahead in terms of technology and design. But the lesson for me that I realized is I've been taking these cars. I started out last Thursday, 10 days ago, nine days ago, California. Here we are six years after Alexander Malcolmson came up with the Ford Model B, which in my opinion is a direct link to the Ford Model T. And his vision is realized with another manufacturer. You have a market for these cars. You have an improved design. This is six years after the Model B. Imagine if Henry Ford had been foresighted enough to see that he could have had a luxury car in addition to the Model T. Imagine six years later what a Model B would be like after the Model K developed and it evolved into this. This is a spectacular car. It's also in the 80% original range. But I, I, to me, it's just a lesson of what could have been with Ford Motor Company. And uh, thank you to Larry, president of the MTFCA, for uh, contacting groups, letting them know I'd be coming through with these cars. This is an example of where you bring a museum to people, you get people excited. Since we're in Sam's Club, we've had a lot of people stop by and look at these cars, ask questions. These guys are starting to look at the 1913, which is I want, what I wanted them to do, find out how original it actually is. I'm gonna pack this up. It's gonna rain here tomorrow. I have to beat it over to Richmond because it's gonna snow on Monday. And I'm gonna drop off this Model T and it'll be on display in the museum. Cars are best serving the public when they're interacting with the public. And sometimes that's not always in a museum. Sometimes it's in a Sam's Club parking lot. So they're reading the book now about the car that came with it. Again, this is an educational opportunity and it's also an opportunity to bring these cars and exposure with the general public. So everybody, I hope you're having a good Sunday and uh, enjoy the week ahead. Warmer temperatures for most of the nation. So concludes 10 days and 3,000 miles from Southern California to San Francisco to pick up the 1913 runabout that was in the same family since new to 2008. And now it's at the museum. All the stuff you see on the blankets, all that stuff there, that all came with the car. So, and then along the way, 
of course, the 1910 Chalmers Detroit 30 Model K, which is continuing and going up to the Gilmore. So, these guys came down to uh, make room for this car so it can come into the museum. And we're going to do that next.